Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. Um, okay, so solution we have 1 over x plus x over 2 equals 3. Now the first step to be taken is to find the, the LCM of this and deal with it. But if you don't want to find the LCM, just multiply this by this so that we'll have the denominator, which is 2x. Okay, then we have 2 times 1, which will be 2, plus x times x. That will give us x squared. And then this is equal to 3, right? Okay, so from here, what we'll do is to cross multiply because this is over 1. And when I do that, I'm going to have um, 2 plus x squared equal to 2x times 3, and it is 6x. So that's from here. I can bring everything to the left, or better still, arrange this. So I have x squared plus 2 equal to 6x, right? Now, I want, I want to bring x squared and 6x together so it become my it becomes minus 6x then this is plus 2 everything is equal to 0 because 6x has moved to the left has been moved to the left now the next point is for me to factorize or solve this quadratic equation but can we factorize this no in that case we'll apply the formula method and for the formula, our a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is the coefficient of x, which is minus 6. And then our c is a constant, which is um, 2. Now, what is the formula? The formula is x equal to minus b, positive or negative. We have um, b squared minus 4ac, everything is over 2a. But remember that we now have our a, b, and c, so we substitute directly. x will be equal to minus minus 6, because b is negative 6, it has to come there, then plus or minus, we'll have minus 6 for b, and then you square it, minus 4 times 1 times c and c is 2 the whole of this is over 2 times 1 now what am i going to do x will be equal to negative negative will give us positive plus or minus now minus 6 squared will give us 36 remember minus 6 is in a square um in a bracket right so it will give us positive 36. Then minus 4 times 1 times 2 will give us 8. The whole of this is over 2. Now if you take a step further, we will have x to be equal to 6, positive or negative. 36 minus 8 will give us 28. Right? But remember that this is still over 2. Now, what do we do? This 28 can be broken down so that we have um, 6 positive or negative. 28 is 4 multiplied by 7 because 4 is a perfect square. And I have this over 2. So that if I take a step, I have x to be equal to 6 positive or negative. Square root of 4 here is 2 then multiply by root 7. The whole of this is over 2. And now what I will do is to factor out 2 from the numerator so that x will be equal to, if I factor out 2, I'll open brackets. Here I'm going to have 3, positive or negative. Here 2 has gone, so I have um, square root of 7 in this, bra in this um, bracket. And the whole of this is over 2. Now, the next step I'm going to take is to cancel out this and this. 
so that my x will be equal to 3 positive or negative square root of 7. And then what does this mean? It means that x is equal to 3 plus root 7 or 3 minus root 7. So these are the values of x that will satisfy the equation. But then let us check to know if we are right or wrong because we might not be correct. So hold on. Okay, so this is the original equation given to us. And remember the value of x that we got. We got x to be equal to 3 plus root 7 or 3 minus root 7. Now, I want us to check for the positive, you know, 3 plus root 7 alone. And you can try this out yourself to know if it's going to work. Now, this place will now be 1 over, we'll have 1 over 3 plus root 7. And this is because x is 3 plus, um, plus root 7. Then plus x over there is 3 plus uh, root 7. And this is over 2. Now the question is, will this give us 2? Now let's deal with the left hand side until we get 3. So it's 3, sorry. Until we get the 3 over there. Now to deal with this, what you can do is uh, you know multiply the denominator together so we're going to have 2 multiplied by 3 plus root 7. now to get your numerator it's going to be 2 times 1 which is 2 plus this multiplied by this and it's going to be 3 plus root 7 okay multiply by 3 plus root 7. Now let's multiply the numerator. To multiply the numerator, 2 will come out, then plus 3 times 3 will give us 9, then 3 times root 7 will give us plus 3 root 7, then root 7 times 3 will give us plus 3 root 7, and then root 7 times root 7 will give us plus uh, 7. Remember root 7 times root 7 will give us root 49. And square root of 49 will give us 7. Now the denominator remains 2 multiplied by 3 plus root 7. Now will the whole of this give us 3? Let's continue. Now we have 2 plus 3 plus 7 sorry 2 plus 9 plus 7 that will give us 18 then plus 3 root 7 plus 3 root 7 will give us 6 root 7 and this is over 2 into bracket 3 plus um, root 7 okay now what do i do from here remember 6 is common to these two terms i can factor out 6 so that 6 will come out and I'll open bracket. 18 here will be left with um, 3 because 6 times 3 will give me that 18. Then plus the whole of this will now be root 7 because the 6 has come out. And this is all over 2 into bracket 3 plus square root of 7, right? Okay, so from here now we have... 3 plus root 7, 3 plus root 7. So this will cancel. And then we are having 6 divided by 2. And 6 divided by 2 will give us 3. Now this means that we are very correct to say that x is equal to 3 plus square root of um, 7. And equally you are to try this. x equal to 3 minus square root of 7. Will this still, you know, this has already satisfied the equation. So will the second solution satisfy the given equation? Give it a try. Thank you for watching.